Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. There's no rejecting that James Kennedy's DJ vacation is truly taking off. The Vanderpump Rules star has progressed significantly from his unassuming starting points as SUR's Tuesday night DJ during his See You Next Tuesday sets. Nowadays, James is opening for Cascade, performing at Stagecoach, and selling out shows the nation over. James has likewise worked together with numerous other Vanderpump Rules stars on their own melodic undertakings. Notwithstanding, numerous VPR fans who haven't seen him perform feel a little wary about whether James Kennedy is a decent DJ. There's a great deal of popularity that accompanies being an unscripted television star. It's normal for unremarkable cast individuals to make progress in fields like music and acting dependent more upon their ubiquity and obviousness as opposed to genuine ability. So this has yet to be addressed. Does James Kennedy have genuine DG slashes? Or on the other hand, would he say he is simply writing the outcome of Vanderpump Rules? In view of the criticism James gets and the manner in which he sells out shows, he's surely made progress as a DJ. There are a few Reddit strings that element scores of VPR fans spouting about the astonishing times they've had at his shows. He's so powerful live. A fan enthused, guaranteeing the first banner that James puts on an incredible act. You will have a fabulous time. Another analyst gave a comparative record subsequent to seeing him in New York City. They referred to his presentation as astonishing. However, they noted he began the show on the late side. Different fans have revealed that it can really be a battle to get tickets for James Kennedy's shows because of his monstrous prominence. His shows sold out so extraordinarily speedy in our city. I never at any point got an opportunity. One more fan guaranteed in an alternate string. They were in good company, notwithstanding. Another fan said James was likewise sought after in their city too. Tickets sold out in a real sense a moment, so they're adding a subsequent evening the fan remarked. Analysts who haven't gotten the opportunity to see James perform were satisfied to hear that his DG profession is genuine. There are numerous unskilled, unscripted television stars who piggyback their vocations on their fame. In light of the assessments of James' show participants, the VPR star really understands what he's doing. In any case, since James has the stuff to make it as a DJ without his unscripted television profession, doesn't mean he isn't exploiting his Bravo fame. Truly, James would need to be a blockhead not to take advantage of the Vanderpump rules being a fan. And it appears to be he's worked effectively of coordinating the show into his sets. Different fans have detailed that James gives a lot of gestures to the show that put him on the map. One Redditor expressed that at the show they joined in, James started off the late evening playing the VPR signature melody. How fitting. James Melodies additionally highlighted voice cuts from the Vanderpump Rules, and he yelled out a few of his expressions all through the show, counting P-U-M-P-T-I-N-I-S. Obviously, James additionally takes advantage of the notoriety of his co-stars, and fans have spoken about both Sheena Shea and James Sweethard, partner Luber, going along with him in front of an audience. One more analyst said, Partner came up in front of an audience a little. Following the show, James and Partner 2 took pics with individuals that inquired. It's a savvy move for James to make these sorts of references to Vanderpump rules. Nonetheless, he actually tries to not estrange potential DJ James Kennedy fans who probably won't watch the show. On the off chance that I didn't have any idea who this man was or alternately wasn't into VPR, I actually would have lived it up the first banner asserted. He played incredible music and brought the energy like he was playing a gigantic celebration set. It surely seems like James knows how to put on a decent act for both VPR fans and music fans who aren't into unscripted television. In any case, regardless of the stacks of commendation James Kennedy gets for his shows, there are as yet numerous Vanderpump Rules fans who have refused to compromise against him. I actually don't grasp the reason why individuals monetarily support this person. 
a Redditor said because of fans commending James' DJ abilities. Others rushed to toll in, considering him a misanthropic waste human and criticizing all the misused defenders going to James' shows. Maybe it's James' fat disgracing, or his poisonous and harmful way of behaving towards his exes, or perhaps his sickening fury texts, or perhaps, indeed, you understand everything. James has displayed a ton of terrible way of behaving on Vanderpump rules throughout the long term. He turns particularly frightful when he's been drinking, and in any event, when James apologizes for his activities, he frequently doesn't appear to be true. It's not excessively shocking that numerous VPR fans are unwelcoming to James' endeavors to make progress as a DJ. There are obviously a ton of watchers who blacklist his shows. Be that as it may, as some Redditors call the attention to, the fans boycotting his shows are as yet watching the show, as in Vanderpump Rules, James, and other risky VPR stars, rake in some serious cash by showing up on television. By proceeding to watch Vanderpump Rules, even fans who are vocal about their judgment of James' way of behaving are still actually supporting him. They may not be purchasing tickets for his shows, however, Bravo Dollars are as yet tracking down their direction into James' pockets because of fans proceeded with viewership. You dislike James Kennedy, but rather concerning his DJ profession, he's no trick. Apparently, the person puts on an extraordinary act as long as you can overlook his numerous offenses. Ariana Maddox opened up about a moment in which she putatively caught Tom Sandoval cheating on her with Rachel Reckel Levis in their home in an extract from her new blend book, Single AF Amalgamations Drinks for Bad B Asterisk Tich Ez, which hit stores on Tuesday. Looking back on the telling hassle in her Bank in Mirrors form, the Vanderpump Rules star, 38, recalled running into Sandoval, 41, outside of their guest room, where Rackel, 29, who he was latterly caught having a months-long affair with, was spending the night. It is, actually really disgusting. I mean, that's the nethermost line, it's really disgusting, guest. Ariana told P. Piddle of Herrick's boyfriend's infidelity. Although important of Sandoval and Rackel's love was exposed on Pump Rules Season 10, Ariana said there's still a lot suckers do it know. The maturity of my life is off camera, so that's, I suppose, commodity that people will know AC, she noted. We're talking 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 30, 31 days a month of day in, day out, moment, to, moment, lies, deception, and gaslighting, and horrible treatment. There's plenitude of people who do not know me or know my life who have declared it over, or have declared it as old news, but it's mine, and I am living it. And so, sorry to those people who wanted to avoid it and couldn't. But I clearly am still unfit to avoid it, because it's my life, she continued. In Ariana's Bank and Mirrors form, she tells compendiums that one of the most delicate effects about infidelity is learning about the multiple points of deception that took place, the innumerous times bomb and glasses were put in front of you. She also details what went down between Sandoval and Rickle on one of the numerous nights Rickle slept over. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.